to my channel. This video is going to be all about my passion twist, um, what I experienced, and a little tutorial on how I do the front and crochet the hair in. But um, first, I would like to say I got this hair from Diva Tress, the website. I'll link it below, and I will show you guys what hair I use and everything. But first, I want to talk to you about this like journey I went through with these passion twists because, honey, honey, it was a struggle. So, um, you know, passion twists have been very, very popular recently. So I was like, ooh, I want some because I want like a protective style in my hair. It's getting warm out. I can wear my hair to the pool, to the beach with this, whatever. I was just really tired of doing like my hair and all the wigs and all that stuff. So I decided to get passion twists. So I was looking at videos, trying to figure out which hair is the best hair to use, how to do them, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up first getting the Water Wave hair. What brand was that? I'll link it below. But at first I got the Water Wave hair. Oh, the Free Tris, yes. I got the Free Tris Water Wave hair first and I made an appointment, um, my friend she owns a hair salon, I'll link that below, but she can do passion twists too. So I was like, I'm just going to go make an appointment because I did get one pack of hair and I tried to do the passion twist myself and I was like, this isn't working because I was doing individuals at first, like no crochet, just straight individual passion twist. So I did that and then um, my hair was slipping out because my hair was so soft. Okay, so this is the hair that I use and it is this hair right here. It's the Bobby Boss, Bobby Boss Brazilian Water Curl. And this hair is super duper light. Um, it comes in 18 inches and I got a color 1B and I got this off the Diva Trust website. So yeah, so I went on the Diva Trust website, which I'll link below. And I got this hair, so I got like 12 packs because I didn't know how much hair I would need. Um, but I saw one other person do their passion twist with this hair. And I am so glad I got this hair. I like this way more than the Free Trist Water Wave hair because this hair is much lighter. The Free Trist Water Wave hair, I did use a lot of packs of the other hair, but it was still like super duper heavy, okay? It was so heavy. And I like this one better because this hair is more coarse. Uh, I'll get close up so you can see it in a few. But this hair, it just, it keeps my hair in better, if that makes sense. Because my hair is already fine. But this hair is like coarse, but it's still like soft and light, if that makes sense. But I think it's just better at holding the passion twist in my hair in the front that I did individually. So I'll leave this link below for the um this hair but I, I highly recommend this one way more than the other hair okay so i'm gonna get into how i installed this hair so this hair is um crocheted so i have one row in the front that's individual and the rest are braided back and crocheted so my friend she braided my hair and crocheted the hair in and i know how to crochet the hair in. i just had her do it because to save time and I can't really see the back of my head and it's just like it, it is a lot of hair that I crocheted in um well she crocheted so she crocheted the hair in and then I just took it and twisted it back so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get the hair just straight out the package so this is what it looks like when you take it out the package um this is one strand and it comes with the little pre-looped hole up here at the top if you can see so this is one strand so when I crocheted it in which I'll show y'all in a second I did take two strands um, so this is equivalent this equals like one whole twist which I'll show you in a second okay so I went ahead and I just she crocheted the hair in and I twisted it and then in the front um, you can either do the rubber band method or you can do where you like plait a piece of your hair and then crochet it into the plait. So at first I was doing the rubber band method and then I just felt like the rubber band was like pulling my hair in the front and I had a hard time like trying to like hide the rubber band. 
So I was like, forget this, I'm just gonna braid it and then, you know, do it that way. So right now I'm gonna show you a little tutorial on how I did the front with the rubber band and without the rubber band and how you crochet a piece of the hair into your head. Also, this is what the front of my hair looks like. Um, this one I haven't redone yet, but this one there's a rubber band in it somewhere, like right there. Um, so I'm gonna redo this one without the rubber band. I just did not have enough time. Um, and these right here are without the rubber band. So these are like the braided ones. So I braided it, I crocheted the hair in focus um sorry if there's like little white stuff it's my brush with my edge control it has like residue on it i know i need to clean it but yeah this one i forgot to redo but so these two braids up here are me braiding it and then crocheting it through the braid and doing a regular braid and then twisting it um as y'all saw in the video so that's how it looks in the front and then the rest of it is just crocheted into my okay, so i hope that video kind of like helped you guys see how i did do it um i'm not like an expert at recording braid or protective style tutorials but hopefully that helps you guys i love this hair so i highly recommend this hair you can get it on diva Trust. i really could not find it anywhere else i went in the beauty supply store and I couldn't find it but for some reason every time I get like a protective style um, like when I got my dress that one year it was Bobby Boss I just always 
go to Bobby Boss for, you know, hair like that. I just feel like it's better quality than some of the other hairs. And I think that hair was like five or $6. I have to go look. This piece of hair is getting on my nerves. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, so I think this is so pretty. Like I love this style. Um, I have been wearing it like with my bun in the top and then the rest down. Um, I go to the gym and work out. I'm able to put all of it up at once in a big bun and it is not heavy. And that's what I had like a major concern with. So I work out like almost every single day and I cannot stand when my hair is like on my neck or my back. It makes me so hot. So I'm just happy I'm able to put all this hair up into a bun and it's not super heavy or like weighing me down or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so please let me know what you think about it. Um, I have been wearing it like this and up, like I just said, but yeah, I'm in love with this. Like I can, this is a style that I can do by myself. I just need to help with the braiding because I don't know how to braid backwards, only sideways. So I have to get somebody to braid it, but how long it took, I, it did take a little minute because I had to twist each piece. And then a lot of these pieces, oh, let me get closer so you can see. Um, a lot of these pieces are not the same size. So I made, well they are, but I made like some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Um, yeah, and these are the ends of them, which some of them I cut off, but I guess these are considered passion twists. Um, <laughs> the hair is very similar to that free Tris hair, but I love it. I've been getting so many compliments so pretty easy to do and all that yeah, so I just love this hair it's great for vacation summer spring water well I haven't been in the water with it yet but I feel like it will hold up um, and the water is super light so I'll leave all the info linked below I hope this video helps you guys um, and let me know what you think about my hair and I'll see you next time bye you guys